Well, this is what happens when you use anything made of aluminum for soap making. Hi and welcome back to another soap science video. If you are new here, I am Sue. I make videos about how to make soap and the chemistry behind it. It's been a while since my last soap chemistry video, so I thought it would be nice to share a little experiment with you. This falls absolutely into the category I did it so you don't have to. And please, this is very important. This video is just for demonstration. Don't do that at home. Just don't. Before we start with the experiment, let's have a look into the chemistry behind it. What we're gonna use is lye and aluminum. The chemical equation looks like this. We've got aluminum, sodium hydroxide and water on the one side and they react to sodium aluminate and hydrogen gas. This reaction is very intensive and also the formed hydrogen gas can be a danger in your soap kitchen because it is highly inflammable. This is also an exothermic reaction which generates a lot of heat. Let's go into the experiment. First I measure a 20% lye solution. This is not as strong as we would use for soap making. A common concentration for this would be 33% but also with this lower concentration we get a very impressive reaction. Then I take half of a gram of aluminum foil. This is the same foil you use in your kitchen, so nothing special, just regular aluminum foil. And now let's put it together. The reaction starts with a slight delay. And I show you this in real time, that's no fast forward. You can quickly see that you definitely don't want to have this reaction in your kitchen when you make soup. The steam coming up in this reaction is hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas is highly inflammable. I could have shown you that in my experiment, but this is something I don't want to do in my kitchen. So I show you a clip from another video I found on YouTube in a second. This reaction would also happen with freshly mixed soap batter. So using anything made of aluminum for soap making is an absolutely no-go. And here's the video I found with the same experiment. This guy is collecting the hydrogen gas with a balloon and then he sets it on fire. This hydrogen torch looks quite cool, but I don't recommend doing this at home. This is dangerous. I think this little experiment shows you in a very impressive way that you should never use anything made of aluminum for soap making. And that's not everything. When you have a look in the MSDS sheet of sodium hydroxide, you see that there's also a warning about metals in general. Sodium hydroxide is very corrosive to metals. That means it destroys metals and not only aluminum. What you can use is stainless steel. This is no problem but you should avoid any other metals. If you aren't sure if your container is made of stainless steel, don't use it. To be on the safe side, I only use containers made of polypropylene for soap making. And this is also what I recommend to you. You can identify it with the recycling code number five. If you have any further questions about lye and lye safety, I wrote a short lye safety guide for you, which you can download from our website, suandsoap.com. It's absolutely free and all of my best knowledge, and I really hope it will help you. Especially if you're new to soap making, it is very important to do some research on lye safety before you make soap. So be sure to check this out. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing. Have a great day and see you next time. Bye.